Namaste and welcome. I am grateful that you are here. Um, today I'll be talking about the world predictions for uh, uh, events that are coming up in this video and uh, more specifically around ne next three years, how does that look like from an astrological standpoint and what are the stars saying in general. There are things that I noticed uh, while working on this which are very important for the humankind. I wanted to let you all know that um, this is what is coming up. And intention is for you to be just be prepared uh, and maybe it helps somewhere down the line to make you better decisions in your life for your family um, and well-wishers. So uh, I'll be doing this video in a little different format today. The objective is that I will be, there's a black border on the bottom of my screen that you see, I'll be pasting some comments. So I'll keep it very straightforward to the point um, more around the predictions and less around the technicalities of it so that everybody can follow. What look like as of yesterday, which is, I'm, I'm recording this on 21st, but the predictions are from 20 October 2022 and they go up to um, 20 October uh, 2025. So this is like next three years following from now. This is how the chart looks like. And so I wanted to give you all a very brief background of the sequence of world events, why they are happening and how they are moving in what direction before I get started. So I'll spend a little while on uh, around the context and the background setting for this video. So um, as you know, the, the world order is uh, more towards the West and that has been very controlled um, in general. And um, the dollar has the hegemony power across the globe today. So, um, uh, that's going to change a little bit. I see uh, this is not really a, like a typical um, situation which has happened in the past. But there is a new era coming in for the humanity. And this is headed towards a lot of conflicts. And it's just that um, there is sort of divine intervention which I foresee happening at this period of time. And I'm hoping by now you would have been feeling your minds will be struggling to understand what's going on. Uh, what's happening really and where the world is going. There will be confusion, uh, agitation, uh, if you will, and there are things that will be confusing you a lot. So this is uh, nothing wrong with your mind. It's just that there is a divine intervention that uh, I can foresee. And we can also see that in charts and especially um, God sort of is not happy that, and whichever form of God and religion you believe in, the Creator is not that happy that uh, humanity has been given an opportunity to grow peacefully and coexist and sort of live in the harmony with nature and the human beings and also the animals included, which is not sort of happening now. And then uh, that is why probably God has decided to intervene directly. So we are seeing a lot of planets which are in retrograde motion uh, to, to vouch for what I just said. And then uh, there is a specific sort of energy cycle which has been created uh, behind this whole um, sort of uh, cosmic events, which can, we can call it, uh, which is driving the whole global change and the global change in the world order that you foresee. So uh, in my previous video, I also spoke about, you will see a rise of digital dollar and conflicts, uh, which you see and most of the media things that you see are merely an excuse, sort of deviation from the real thing which is happening in the background. Uh, the COVID-19 thing and all of that, you know how true that was and what happened due to vaccination. So I don't want to get into those details. So these are all the signals that God has been giving us a chance that please improve, uh, work on ethical things and be righteousness, follow your dharma, uh, ethics, values, whatever you believe in. But um, that has not been done. So the changes that you see are sort of a decade from now. We are talking about the whole, uh, this is like an era of change or a decade of change. The world order is going to shift towards different economies and countries. That's the beginning of it. And that is why probably our minds will be confused in this situation uh, in terms of what's in the media and the news versus what you are feeling and, and what really is happening in the planetary positions as such. In, because of retrograde motion of a lot of planets and uh, things that are happening and this is the cosmic energy which is driving them, which I call it God in other words, or Krishna in my religious terms. Um, so that's basically driving this whole change and the positions are moving in such a way that planets don't have a much say in all this. So somebody higher above uh, more uh, almighty reality is driving them. And uh, there is a continuous focus and confusion in shifts. So people will be struggling or juggling between spirituality versus the uh, materialistic things of the world. Like, should I be doing this or should I be more material? It can impact you in your day-to-day -day operations, your job, uh, whatever you do to earn money, bread and butter for your family, for instance. 
so uh, in other words god has decided to um, reward and reward those who are obviously following the right set of values that god believes in and punish on the other hand as well for their deeds by deeds i mean karma in hindu terms which is basically obligation to the society or the righteousness or the values that you believe in so um, uh, with that being the context and the background for this video i just wanted to uh, get started and uh, i'll be just pasting uh, my comments and i'll speak briefly about it but again starting from uh, october 20 2022 and it goes up to 20th of uh, october 2025 these are three uh, years from now which is one or to speak about it in specific so during this time period uh, and i'll be obviously coming up with a follow up video of specifically around next year how the world would look like but this is sort of an outlook for the world uh, in terms of uh, from october there are there is a solar eclipse coming up which is going to uh, impact us significantly that i showed you and then uh, before i guess i have a look Uh, on the left hand side you see this is the chart i'm preparing of the natal chart these are sort of placements uh, just an fii not nothing technical here uh, will be the focus like i said this time period the life uh, all our life like i said and hinted in the beginning will be full of action and adventure people will be sort of uh, idealistic and growth focused in this time period ships in this time period are primarily due to uh, military interest and even if they appear to be trade alone there is a um solar eclipse uh, which is coming up which is which doesn't look like a lot of positive for the humanity so um there is a solar eclipse on 23rd october and after which uh, we see the wealth and the federal reserve of the world and all the governments will see adverse effect and more specifically in the west uh, that we see um so people otherwise you know we have been very spiritual up till now but it will not be applicable anymore uh, because of the change in planetary positions and uh, you can expect things like you know loss of income means of livelihood uh, of many governments and many people will be challenged it, it will be like never before that has happened in past so i'm just pasting my comments i've just made a sort of notepad so that it is simpler than like really looking at a presentation as such i hope this is much better than my previous video so there can be uh, all the federal results like i said will be challenged so um, you can see the rise in inflation and all that you are saying already so and i have more specific points to cover that further in my presentation so there is there is a time period of relief so there is a you can expect minor improvements during 24th jan 2023 to the 5th of march 2023 that's where things can cool down a bit and life will be sort of little okay but again um, follow i'll follow up that with other comment which is um situation again worsens after april may june primarily uh, please ignore my typos there in a manner that can never be rolled back that is um, your life will never be the same uh, same as if today what you see and as of uh, what you saw pre covid or when covid started affecting the uh, september october 2019 whenever that was so don't think that there's something going back or rolling back and it will be nothing is going to be changed like and these changes are you know it cannot be retained these changes are forever now um, june onwards people are again back to uh, spirituality mode which is like they will try to understand the the significance of god the perception what is reality what is that they know and uh, what is that they don't know they'll be seeking so there'll be a lot of seeking which will happen which will be good there'll be um, i foresee that the world could actually be divided between the people who seek versus sort of um in terms of good versus the evil as you see in in the west right so there'll be clear um, division of the society and that will ultimately lead to conflict later for now this is just a setting up of that stage of changing the world order in general but how this will happen essentially is that uh, countries will get bene- uh, you know sorry excuse my typo there again so uh, the beneficial things or adverse situations to any country in specific across the globe will happen based on their past karma so they will have to pay for their deeds uh, whatever they have been doing all these these years like i said this is a divine intervention it's not really uh something which the global powers of today can control so they might think that we are smart enough but this is this is something different this is very different than what we have seen in in thousands of years now 
I will extend, um, you know, extend this discussion a bit further. So the whole world appears to become dharmic or religious. So there is a religious bent of mind which is happening across the globe. Globe, you will see that people will be seeking a lot, trying to understand their religion, spirituality, and sort of um, consciousness of the mind. In other words, which I would, would prefer to call it that way. And uh, this is this is headed towards the dharma or the righteousness of doing things. But all of that is actually going to lead towards a direct religious conflict. Uh, you know, one religion conflicting with the other religion of the world. And that uh, that is going to be sort of a basis which, for, which, is going, which is going to form the groups or grouping of world powers. And of course, uh, may lead to a world war later. But it's not really coming up right now as I speak. But there are, of course, chances, like I said. So, um, like I said in the beginning of the video, due to the divine intervention, what's happening right now is that your mind, um, your body and the soul uh, uh, of all human beings are aligning differently. And actually they are being grouped into different groups of uh, the good karma people, the bad karma people, or evil, so sort of immoral, immoral, and whatever you want to term it. So that's, that's happening silently behind the curtains. And uh, it is the God or the Creator who is driving this uh, because of the planetary positions. And humans have no control. So the religious conflicts will lead to loss of income, uh, livelihood and jobs. Uh, so you can read inflation followed by recession, depression and more. So you can see instability, loss of progeny, the, the children, the lives, kids and may also stop. Uh, sort of we also foresee there is some disturbance in the global education system as well. That can be intermittent, but that is something that we also foresee. So you can expect rise of illusionary things, which are again heavy on materialism, which is like, and specifically, specifically with respect to kids, uh, their future, like the education, which is not really going to be helpful in any way for them. The propagandas, the woke cultural sort of things which might be targeting kids uh, through digital means in full swing right now. Um, and it will be mostly done through digital media, like I said. So uh, expect YouTube, Facebook, uh, Instagram, etc. Uh, will be where this, all of these campaigns will be run to target, um, you know, the toddlers or, or maybe the school, uh, elementary school kids or, and more, more on those lines. So school people or the school kids will be a, a part of the story. They will be targeted. The good news though is that, uh, the good part of the situation is that the way planets are positioned now, people will be able to see through all of this actually in complete reality. It won't be that, uh, you know, when these things are done, the people will not be aware who is doing what. People will be able to completely see through things transparently, uh, very transparently. And the governments allowing such things in their country uh, must know which governments, you know, they will face protests, internal unrest, etc. due to this. This is bound to happen. Um, Something that you are seeing in Iran, um, sort of, and other countries, um, and also sort of uh, somewhere in the West as well, you will see that this will be more, more and more as we progress further. Let me paste that comment there. Um, so I'll just read in the comments there. So this is, a, of course, a very challenging time for all sort of partnerships. Um, you can expect lack of. Uh, Patience among all business, businesses, trades, or military partnerships. Uh, their personal egos might clash, uh, including their impulsive behavior, and which can actually lead to negative outcomes for the society at large. Uh, so worldwide, another interesting thing that's happening is that uh, the allies or um, other world powers are carefully watching each impulsive move and reality will come out eventually, like I said. So they can't show diplomacy and not face the consequences of their actions. That note, I just heard that Liz Trust, the UK Prime Minister, has resigned. Uh, so I see more of this happening. The, the world leaders will be in challenging times. They will have to face the consequences of their actions. So politicians will be facing a challenge to their job, which is the outcome of this situation. And there is, of, of course, a foreign meddling and a lot of foreign involvement is there in a um, lot of countries right now, as I speak. So that's maybe one of the reasons why it is happening again. The, uh, the presidents and the prime ministers or the leaders of the world are not really working to help the people in general. Um, and it is this time that um, people should know the reality. So the, so the good part there, though, is that their powers are getting balanced out. 
uh, by God's grace and uh, the countries who were strongest will no longer be strongest and likewise the countries which were sort of weakest or the poorest will no longer will be the poorest. So there is a global, you know, imagine the Libra sign in, in astrology. That's like a balance of power which is happening right now. So, uh, which is again much needed in society because there is a lot of concentration of power uh, in the in global hands, so let's say one percent of the population is actually ruling the whole seven point three billion people that we are. Uh, it is a shift of global power, so developing nations will start getting more power over developed nations in terms of the percentage rise in their growth that you will see. Um, and leaders of co of course the developed nations will be uh, the cause and enabler of this. I foresee that West European Union, United Kingdom, and other similar countries on the receiving end of this. So. There is a good news though in terms of career, so let me be specific there and I wanted to make sure that I spend some time there. So in terms of uh, career seekers, or the job growth or even the in the businesses and what happens from there is, um, the, the, the good news for career is that the professions like IT, um, consulting, outsourcing, fintech, finance and law, BPOs and call centers, KPOs or knowledge process outsourcing, any research-based activities, um, intellect-based activities, finance, taxation, education-related activities, uh, social media, digital marketing, Google-related things, uh, books, e-publishing and print publishing, uh, the grains, the necessary commodities, the vegetables and fruit markets uh, will be in demand like never before in this time period. And then I also foresee an interesting point that the religious book sales will be all-time high. Uh, another tricky thing or new thing that I observed uh, in the charts is that um, silver is going to skyrocket like anything. So in terms of investment, if you are looking at, and it is actually more than gold, uh, and it, I'm calling it like a new era for silver altogether. So expect huge rise in uh, silver demand. Um, I'm not sure if it might be due to ammunition or I know it is being used in a lot of uh, arms and machinery and things like that as well. but. This is a new game changer. So in terms of countries uh, which are going to benefit greatly from all of the points and the kind of jobs and businesses that I said, it's going to be um, countries with these jobs, of course, the market or human population are more poised to gain from it. So mostly towards developing nations, I meant. The opinionated field, as you know, and it's my opinion that uh, we can also see a witness rise of reverse migration. So I know the, the West European Union and other countries have been calling in people from developing countries and or more of those lines. So you can see that uh, when this happens and the world is going through the trouble and the food crisis which I foresee going on, food and electricity crisis which will happen eventually as you see. And so that will be like, there can be reverse migration. People might be actually moving back to their countries of origin or where they really come from. You can also see the drop in uh, citizenship applications as a consequence of that. So people, uh, let's say countries like Canada where there's a lot of wait line, like it takes 36 months, 37 months, uh, will obviously be on the receiving end of it. So anybody, uh, so you can see that people will be moving back because they will find that those places might be more cheaper, uh, more business friendly, much more growth and job market because of course, they are developing as a world, so they, don't, they have a lot of scope of improvement, right? Uh, of everything else, and even during war times, whatever, whenever that happens, and I'm assuming, let's say, 8 to 10 years from now, sort of world will be at war, in other words. Uh, this will be the strongest. So all these industries that I just mentioned, and also the sort of trends that I mentioned, uh, will be the strongest bread and butter winner for the families. So this is bound to happen. If you are seeking a career in politics, please be aware that most of the political leaders and at least the heads of the governments will be in trouble as people will be able to see through their, see through their deeds and how much they really care about people versus their own um, selfish goals, if you will. And um, um, another interesting part is that uh, I see a lot of world leaders being challenged or sort of betrayed or ditched by their own closest friends. So you will see more of, uh, you can expect more of social media viral videos where they were talking something in public nicely and politically correct and they were doing something else in the backyard so there will be a lot of friends or the closest friend circles which are going to ditch them so those will become viral as I speak and um, some some examples like 
Boris Johnson videos which were out and which left, led to his resignation ultimately. And we are seeing what's happening in the UK as I speak. So, so I expect more of that happening uh, as we move forward. And um, now the, the most interesting part or the board of caution here, uh, which I wanted to bring your attention into, uh, in terms of the whole time series I'm talking about, the most crucial point or the most uh, turnaround time is around uh, 20 October 2022, uh, sorry, to 17th of Jan 2023. So in this time period, starting from October to the January or mid-January 2023, this is the most crucial time period and you can expect a major turbulence or challenges to the world order. Let's say um, anything that you have been uh, waiting for in terms of not that great news to consider. Uh, so I'm seeing that this can be something like an absolute destruction of uh, one of the partners, allies or one of the NATO members. It can be Ukraine or something similar and something different or a new country altogether. But that's very strongly coming out in the charts um, and uh, at least in terms of predictions. So um, I won't deny, uh, you can also expect like a nuclear situation. It can happen. There's a great possibility that could happen which can lead to a lot of losses of life or casualties as such um, or it can be also through um, emergence of a new virus or a strain of a virus which can be more lethal than the COVID or coronavirus that we saw in past or even in present times so uh, the, the loss of lives are uh, we, we see that for sure and then that could be either like a nuclear-like situation or a rise of a new virus. But this is going to be happening between 17 to 17 Jan, more specifically around the solar eclipse, uh, which is 23rd or 24th um, of October this month. So this is why the time period is again crucial. Now all of that could uh, also be a, you know, reaction of society towards the, towards the loans or debts uh, or sanctions to a country. So again, I'm hinting it here for you. Uh, the risk of health or diseases remain, remain uh, during whole of uh, 2023 though. So the, all the, the, what I'm talking about in terms of the new diseases and emergence of new diseases or um, the health issues or anything which, uh, which can be a sort of retaliation or a behavior towards a lot of debt or sanctions on a country, this risk is prolonged from from January 17th until up till September or mid-September 2023. That, that is a continuous risk. But the major part is again from October now to 17th of January 2023. Then I wanted to tell you explicitly uh, that's, that we see very strongly in the charts. And of course, so these are my high level points of today's discussion around the changing world order on the, uh, the world view and future predictions for the next year, next three years from now, which is again sort of I'm trying to apply astrology to li real life situations and analyze what could happen to the human beings of the planet Earth. And then um, obviously my intention is to come up with more follow up videos, uh, specifically around um, one year specifically from now, what happens from now till end of 2023 and I wanted to make a follow-up video on UK and more specific economies and their situation as well. Uh, for now, I hope you have a good day and I hope you like this video. Namaste and thanks for watching.